Bullion knots are a great dimensional stitch, but they can be a little problematic for some people. Um, you can overcome that with just a, a few tips, so why don't you practice with me? Now that we all have our diagrams in front of us, you'll see that I have come up from the back of the fabric to the front, and that uh, represents the spot that I call A in the diagram. Now I'm going to go down a little ways away, and uh, in the diagram I call that B, and I come up at A again, but I leave the needle in the fabric, okay? Now I take hold of the thread that is coming out of the fabric at A, and I'm gonna wrap this thread around the needle several times. Now I'm going to wrap the thread around the needle in a counterclockwise direction several times. And I'm gonna push the wraps down so that they touch the fabric and that's not quite enough. What you want is for these wraps to be about the same size as the bite that you've taken out of the fabric here. So I'll just do a couple more. So push them right down to the fabric and you don't want these wraps to be really tight otherwise it's still going to be hard to pull your needle through. Um, but what you want to do is hold those wraps tightly between your finger and your thumb and pull all the way through the thread all the way through until those wraps start to move towards B on your fabric. And you can see that beautiful little bullion knot there. And now we plunge back down at B and our bullion knot is complete. And you'll see that I'm working in hand here. And for bullion knots, I find that a lot easier because the fabric is flexible and I can um, manipulate it whichever way I want to make it easier for me to make my, my bullion knots. I'm just gonna make another one while I talk here. Pardon me, we wanna come up at this end. Bullion knots are a stitch that really require at least a little bit of practice to get them right and to get them so that they're looking even and uh, pretty, not like a lumpy mess. Believe me, I've made lumpy messes many times. The needle really helps with that. And um, if you find that your bullion knot looks pretty good, except you've got a little loop of thread at one end, then you might try wrapping in the clockwise direction instead of the counterclockwise direction. Well, that one could have used a couple more wraps. So not perfect, but not too bad. So that's bullion knots for you. Um, I recommend that you try several of them yourself until you like the look of them before you try and put them on your project. And I hope that this lesson has been useful for you. Happy stitching.